Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, um, we're going to be covering some of the important syllogism definitions. So this has been something that a lot of people have been asking me about and if I could cover some of the key definitions associated um, with uh, associated with uh, syllogisms and kind of going over them. So in my very first video, I did cover some definitions and um, my very, very first uh, syllogism video. However, I do appreciate that that was a long time ago. And also, I didn't necessarily go through all of them. So I thought the best way to do it was actually to talk you through the um, resources that the official UCAT website actually gives you. So if you go to um, prepare, uh, so this is on the official UCAT website, go to preparation resources, scroll down, they'll, you can see there's a plan your UCAT preparation, tour tutorial, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of you guys will be familiar with the question banks and the practice test, but a lot of you may not have even clicked on the question tutorials aspect. In here, if you scroll down, go to decision making. Once again, by the way, most of these tutorials are absolute garbage, or you can just figure them out using your own, just by doing questions yourself, you'll figure it out. But the only bit that's useful, I believe, is in decision making, there is a part in syllogism where, here we go. So here, it talks about all the key definitions as such. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a screenshot and let's talk about um, some of these in a little bit more detail, okay? So um, let's just go through them from top to bottom. So all, as it says, so for a lot of these, what I like to use, I like to use a 0 to 100 scaling system, right? So all will mean 100, so everything. Always, so on all occasions without fail. And so the other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to talk you guys through how I would represent each of these in a diagram as well. So if it said all A is B, quite simply, just like this, okay? Um, always. Okay. So always on all occasions without fail. So I kind of, tr it's a bit weird, but like when I'm writing, I kind of write it similarly. So for example, if it says, um, any boy will always choose to play guitar, then I would just put B to G. And I know that technically that might sound like all boys play guitar, but I guess it does kind of mean the same thing. But you know, some parts of it, you do just have to remember. Yes, you could just write always on top of the arrow. Um, but I think that this way is definitely better to do it. Okay, so once again, always is just similar to 100, I guess. But I guess maybe you could even put an equal sign if you wanted to. Either. Okay, so this is an important one to talk about. So I'm going to talk about either or, or. So I've talked about or quite a lot in my videos where I say that, you know, if they tell you something is or, it means it's one or the other. Can't be both, can't be neither. So for example, if I tell you my hair is black, or brown, it's either got to be black or it's got to be brown. It can't be black and brown, but it can't be, it also can't be neither black nor brown. So it can't be like pink or like green or something. Okay, so just something to have a think about. Um, so here, either is basically the same. So exclusively A or B, not both. So for example, if it told us that um, all the girls in the class either pick chemistry or biology, I just put all like this, right? So next, yeah, so I know it's one or the other. And then if I, if they gave us more information, so if it said few girls pick biology, then I would be able to kind of put more info on here. Okay, but we'll get onto few or most in just a second. So I guess here, the next one, few. So with few, few means a small number of less than 50. So the way that I like to think about few is less than 50%. Okay, um, and few is a, one of the dodgy ones, actually, because so, yeah, so few, because it's less than 50, it could be, technically, it could be 1 to 49 but there, this is where it becomes a little bit annoying because I've seen questions where, for example, if it says few of the children play football, right? So let's say it said few of the children play football. So that can be represented like this. But then the statement might say some children play football. And often this would be marked as correct. You know, the answer to this would be yes. But a lot of people will be like, oh, but isn't it no? Because it should, you know, because it could be less than 50%. So it could be one. Um, technically it should be, but this is one of those where it kind of just breaks the rules and you have to learn to go along with it. So I guess the other way you could kind of think about few is it's actually not less than 50%, but it's more like 2 to 49. But I like to just think of it as less than 50. So I just like to think of it as 1 to 49, and then I just learn the exception. So in this in this specific scenario, so if they ever say few of this is that, and they ask you to say some, normally, especially on Medify, for example, and I think on the official UCAT question bank as well, although you guys may have to double check that for me, um, it, it, the answer will be yes, okay? Although some doesn't mean one, which we'll come on to in just a second, some means two to 99, okay? But we'll come on to that in just a second, don't worry. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, a majority, a number that is more than 50% of the whole, but not all. So this one's fairly straightforward, it's just 51 to 99, 
Okay, um, majority also just basically means the same as most. Okay, it just means exactly the same. Um, so majority and most are pretty much exactly the same. So it's going to be. Um, so if it tell you, for example, um, the majority of the towns were small, then you can just write most here. So even if I see majority in the word, sometimes I'll just switch it out for most. Okay, cool. So these two are exactly, oh, these two are exactly the same. And then an undetermined number similar to sum, a part of it, not all of it. Okay, so for this one, many is similar to sum. So let me change my color. So many and some mean the same thing. So we'll get on to that in just a second. So when we get on to some, we'll cover that. None. So not even a small amount, not even one. So yeah, so for example, if it says none of the children like, I don't know, KFC, then this is the way that I represent it. Remember, arrow of the cross for me means none. It's interesting as well, um, because this is one of the places where sometimes you can, the arrow can go both ways. So for example, if I tell you that none of the tall people, um, none of the tall people have glasses, that arrow can go the other way as well, because it means no one who has glasses is also tall, right? And one of the best ways I like to think about it is like, think about real world scenarios. And this is some of the things you can do. So for example, if I say that person A is not person B, that also means person B is not person A. Do you get what I mean? So it goes both ways, essentially. So um, yeah, very, very, very important to think about. So um, none is just zero. Okay, so nothing, not a single thing of no value, exactly the same. So these, these are exactly the same. So not all, not all is important because it literally just means, so in this, in the word not all. So it's anywhere between one to 99%. Okay, so this one is important to think about. So obviously it's written here, one to 99. It's important to think about because it means that sometimes it, you can't, so if the original statement reads, not all my, let's say, this is the example I always use, but if it says not all my bananas are green, that could mean there are 1% of bananas are green. And then you could have technically 2%, 3%, blah, 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 blah. Or it could mean 99% of my bananas are green. The reason why I'm showing you this is because if this is your original premise... And then the conclusion you get given is some of my bananas are green or some of my bananas are not green. Both of these statements are false. Well, they can't tell us, but they'll be marked as no's. And I'll explain why that is. So some of my bananas are green. That could be wrong if you only get 1% that are green, i.e. you just get one that's green. Okay, so some of my bananas are green. They could just be one green banana. So that's why this would be wrong. Also, some of my bananas are not green. Well, if 99% of your bananas were green, then you would only have one green banana. So once again, this would be wrong again. Do you see? So you can see in both cases, um, so here, not all cannot substitute for some, but it can. you can substitute the other way because if you think about it, and this is um, one thing that can be quite trippy to think about, but on like a number scale from zero to 100, so I'm going to mark out some key numbers here, 50. So sum represents 2 to 99. Oh, I didn't do 99. Give me a sec. Two so that's 2 to 99, whereas not all represents 1 to 99. So when you say in the original statement, not all, then here you can see why it's quite clear we can't have sum because there's a bit of not all that's not within the sum. However, if it goes the other way around, it's fine because if you say some of my bananas are green, then it's okay to conclude not all my bananas are green because it kind of fully encompasses, it fully encompasses that sum, right? So this idea is a bit, bit tricky to think about, but just have a think about it. I don't want to spend too long on it because I've got to cover the others as well, but have a think about this idea about trying to logically work through it, okay? Um, yeah, it's just something that's quite important. So yeah, so in this case here, you wouldn't be able to conclude this, but if the numbers, if everything here was flipped, so if it said some of my bananas, so actually maybe let's do that. Maybe I'll take you guys through this example so it can be useful. So if it said some of my bananas are green, that could mean you can get 2% of bananas that are green or 99%. But either way, actually let's change the color to blue. Not all, not all. So either way, 
you can see. So some of my bananas are green. So 2% are green, 3%, 4%. It could go all the way up to 99%. So saying not all of my bananas are green is fine because if 2% were green, then that's fine because 2% is still within the 90, 1 to 99 of not all. If 99% were green, that's also fine because 99% is within the 1 to 99%. Similarly here, once again, it's fine to say not all of my bananas are not green, because if 2% were green, that means 98% are not green, so that's still within the not all. If 99% are green, 1% are not green, which is also within the not all. So in both cases, it works. That's the kind of key idea that I want to mention. Okay, so that's why you can replace it. So I guess this shouldn't be, this should be ticks. So in both cases here, they do work now when you flip them over. Okay, cool. So um, I know that one took a little bit of time, but it's really, really important to try and wrap your head around. So on to the next one then. Okay, introduces, so only, introduces something which has happened before something else in the sentence, indicates there's nothing else at all. So yeah, so for things like this, the, so for example, if it said like, um, only those that are, um, only those that have five degrees can be a professor, then it's really, really important to just put that only. And sometimes I like like, double underscore it or highlight just to make me remember the only way you become a professor is you need to have five degrees however i do want to highlight one point it doesn't necessarily mean that's the only thing you need to do to be a professor right so think about it like this you could say that like only full-time athletes go to the olympics but that doesn't mean every full-time athlete goes to the olympics there, there might be other premises as well so it might be that you need to be a full-time athlete and you need to also be top one percent in your country Right? There could be other premises, but we're just not told about them. So sometimes, you know, uh, you can just put a little question mark if you want, just to highlight to you that there are other kind of possible criteria. So this is something that's really, really important to make sure you don't fall for. Okay, so introduce is something which must happen before something else in the sentence indicates. This. So like, you cannot be a professor without having five degrees, but there might be other criteria. So just because you have five degrees doesn't mean you're a professor. That's important. It's important to make that distinction. Very, very important. Okay, so on to some then. So Talked a little bit about this, but undetermined number being more than one, but less than all, part of it, not all of it. Yeah, so the easiest way to do is 2 to 99. Okay, so I guess for only, it's quite hard. It's just only. Um, yeah, so some 2 to 9 times we talked about before, exactly the same as many. So many you can in interchange from, for some. And actually, I think I made a mistake in my very, very first um, syllogism video because I stated that many was equal to... Um, 51 to 99, but I got my um, words wrong. I meant to say most, but I just had many written down. So if you guys go back, you can check. Uh, you can see that that mistake is there. Um, but yeah, just, just watch out for that. It's many means the same as some, right? It might make sense in your head to think, oh, many, like a lot of things are got to be more than a half. But no, m many can just mean exactly the same as some. So also 2 to 99. So many also 2 to 99. And last, un unless, introduces the only circumstance which makes the statement not true or valid. So once again, I, um, yeah, it, it, this is, I mean, I, I don't really see many unless questions, I'll be honest. Um, so I guess one thing you can write is like accept or something. So for example, if I said that all footballers are um, well paid, unless they they are called George, then this is the way that I like to do it. So minus George. So everyone but George. Or unless they are um, playing, I don't know, uh, playing as a defender, then you can put minus defender. So the way that I think what is arrow means also, all footballers are well paid. Oh, but minus defender, except for defenders. That's the way that I best like to draw it. Okay, so I guess, yes, yeah, that minus sign that I tend to use here. So I hope that this video was helpful. I did my best to try and cover it reasonably in depth without, you know, wasting too much time. And I hope you guys did find this useful. If you do have any other questions, please do let me know. Um, but otherwise, um, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.